In this Caden Live tutorial, I'm going to install version 2012.3 onto my Windows 10 computer and attempt to do some video editing. Uh, Caden Live's my favourite Linux editor, but I've never attempted to run Caden Live on Windows, so let's see how successful this is going to be. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, so this is the main Caden Live page, and at present it's on 2012 13. So, the one thing I do now is if you go into the downloads page, there's a lot of blurb about Windows here. Um, so, I'm half expecting this not to work, but we'll give this a go. Forget these, forget the installer, go for the standalone. It's always advisable to um, if you're worried about installing um, software onto your computer. Standalone is literally what it what it says. It's a standalone program. It doesn't install as such. So select standalone, and then select save file, and wait till your download is finished. Once your download's finished, just close your um, Internet Explorer down. Okay, so let's go into the downloads and see what we got. Okay, well we've got this standalone EXE, and as I said, it doesn't install, but if you double click it, what you should do is extract another folder. So let's extract this. So now we've got Caden Live in the downloads folder as a standalone program. Double click your standalone um, extracted folder. Now, the one thing I found quite often, there is no startup link with these. So you might have to have a look around. I suspect it will be in the bin. So let's double click this and look for, you can create a shortcut later on for this if you want yeah okay here Caden live exe double click this so what you're looking for is Caden live exe in the bin folder double click this and hey presto it's working so far okay so what we got here Okay, yeah, make sure that you've selected the projects bin. I don't know which one selected here, but it doesn't look like the projects bin. Select this. Okay, now importing videos into Caden Live, you can go through the rigmarole of open and whatnot, but most video editors it actually pays once you get used to uh, working with them to actually select the videos you want to work with and then just drag them in to the projects bin okay now you can't see thumbnails on these videos because there's actually a, a section of black at the beginning of each one normally you would expect to see a sort of thumbnail image down here okay so I'm just gonna now very quickly attempt to edit a sequence of videos in Caden Live so with Caden Live, or with a lot of video editors, you've got the option of cutting videos. But if you want to change anything, you're better off placing it in an out marker. So if I double click this clip here, and just play the clip, say. Stop it there where this chap disappears. You can press I for in or O for out, or you've got these little markers here. One will say set zone in, the other one says set zone out. So you go set zone in, and although this is sort of looks like it's cut the clip, when you put it in the timeline, you can adjust it again, but I won't go into that. And let's just play this clip here. and stop the clip 
Incidentally, this is the first time I've attempted to use Caden Live in Windows, so it's looking good so far. And just select Set Zone Out, and then place your pointer over the clip, hold your left mouse button down, and drag it into the timeline. So here's a problem straight away. It should be showing up here. We just drag this marker along and back again. Okay, that's fine. Let's do another clip. And this time I'm gonna just drag this timeline marker along. So let's say there. Select the in zone in and just drag this along. If this is successful, I'll do a few more tutorials, um, things like proxies and stuff like that. So that one's okay, and drag that one in. Do a couple more. This one's quite a long clip, so this is where... We'll start this set zone in come along and we'll set this one out drag the clip in one more now this this is where it comes in handy with more powerful computers um, or programs like Caden Life a prefetch which means Hopefully, if you stop occasionally, you can just drag through the clip. What I'm looking for is a bit where the clip actually gets unstable. There. So, I'll set this one in. And let's go to the end. Set it out. Drag this clip in. Okay. Play your clip just to make sure you're happy with it. That's looking pretty good. I'm not going to go into it anymore. Right. Okay. Come up to render, select this. I generally, when I'm working with Caden Live, drag the quality up, put in losing quality, and set. You've got options. I could, this is um, HD, I could render this as Ultra HD, but I'm going to just go for MPEG or MP4. Select this. Also, you need to decide where you're going to save the folder or your video. So let's select the output destination and for ease, slam it on the desktop, give it a title here. So we'll call it what it is, trains. Select save. So it's desktop trains, fine. I'm not going to do anything else and render to file and wait for this to render and let's see if this has actually worked once your video is finished rendering just close this down and let's see if this has worked if you're wondering how I managed to get around working with Caden Live I've done a lot of stuff on Caden Live with my Linux computers so I am very familiar with that so let's play this, see if it's worked. And it's looking pretty good for a straight out of the box um, attempt at running Caden Live, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.